Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to this, I guess you could say, extra for the Sports You podcast. Uh, I am Rob on the mic, as you can see from like right here or something. Uh, definitely wanted to introduce you guys to NBA Top Shot. It's been a lot of questions, uh, it's something that's very hype right now. Um, I've been telling a lot of family about it. Basically, it's just it works with NFTs. Uh, go ahead and look that stuff up. I'm not going to explain that whole thing. Uh, but basically, you guys get like trading cards that are online. Uh, except for instead of them being actual cards that are just standstill, it's actual highlights. Uh, so let me just give you a look at what this site looks like so far. Kind of have everything ready. We were able to get at least just one pack here. Uh, it's between me and my brother. We were just getting into it, trying to learn more about it, and just trying to, uh, again, you know, develop in it. We love sports, so why not get into this stuff? So when it comes down to it, uh, we, we, we entered it, and there were like 300,000 people in line. Of course, I get like 275,000th, and then this guy right here, uh, uh, fortunately for him, got like 34,000th or something like that. So he was able to cop one of these packs, uh, the first pack out of all three of us here. So we're going to go ahead and just get right into it here. I've never done this before. Um, apparently, you're supposed to get like four different moments or three different moments and then one cat. So let's see what happens. Oh, that's a cool little thing there. Oh, they even got music and shit. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so I don't know which one is the cat. Usually they tell you which one is the cat. I hope that sound isn't too loud. Okay, it's it's not loud. Maybe you guys can hear it a little bit. All right, let me check it out here. So let's go ahead and open this one. Bottom left, a layup. Okay, see, is that Shea Gildress? Oh, okay. We got Lugin Stort. Lugin Stort. That guy's a great defender. An up-and-coming guy. I bet you that he can do some. Check out. Woo! Woo! Okay, I feel that. On Jameson Crowder. He left the heat, so fuck him. I'm just kidding. I, I wish we could have him, but Lujan Stort. What a great star right there. An up-and-coming star. Uh, very, very young. From ASU. Shout out to the ASU alumni out there. Let's go ahead and click the top right one here. That looks like a Trailblazers. A Nurkic block. Who's that going to be on, though? Oh, number 30 on the Kings. I don't even know who that. Robinson. Uh, Glenn Robinson the third. Ah, he's on the Kings. Don't worry about that. Yo Yosef Nurkic, not too good. It's something cool though. But let's go ahead and get into the next one here. How much is that one out of the Illusion Store? So Illusion Store one has thirty five thousand out of everybody. An R J Barrett. That's a good one too. Cool Cat series too. Uh, I guess it's just a getting in a fast break right there. Pretty simple. Nothing too great. But there's only 15,000 of those ones. So these one, this one is more rare than this one. That is his cool cats, it looks like. Hopefully we can get some more here. But let's check out this next one. Josh Akogi. Nothing crazy. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing really to say about Josh Akogi. <laughs> 35,000, as you can see right there. Plus, so this one's not really one that's going to be great. These, ones, these two are the same type of rarity. Uh, pretty low when it comes to the number we are at. Especially when it comes to RJ Bear. Look, 331. I wonder if that brings up his value. And then the last but not least, we got the same one. This some bullshit. What the? F Come on, NBA. The same damn one. You guys got so many other different cards. You're going to give us the same Lugin Store one. Hey, man. I mean, they must have known that I'm one of those ASU alumni. 4,000. That's not too bad, but... I mean, this is this is what it is. It got some really cool uh, background music. You got uh, five, uh, four different moments. One cool cats. The cool cats is, is really cool. Uh, before this video is over, 331st. Let's go see how much he is worth. So let's turn the sound off. Let's go ahead and go back. Let's go into the marketplace here. He might not be up there because they disabled the marketplace. But let's check it out. And then let's go ahead and put the sets. Let's go series, excuse me. Oh, no, it's set. So sets. Let's check it out here. Uh, maybe I could just put it right there. Cool. All right. No, he's not up just yet. At least it doesn't look like it. Um, Let's see if we can find one right here. No, nothing, but... That means hopefully that he's more rare. Uh, let's see here. Look at these are all regular. So look at even a rising stars, even a right. So this is part of a set. These are all part of a set too. This one has how many of them? Because ours I think had like fifteen thousand. 
sold by 320. This so this one only has 2,021. So this one's definitely gonna go for more because it has more uh, less involved. Yeah. So I think the other one again. Let's go back to the collection here. Right here. So it's 15,000. So uh, definitely gonna be like maybe one, maybe one third, maybe a hundred bucks, maybe maybe two hundred dollars, but. We'll see how it goes. It's going to update the marketplace right there. Again, you can't really sell it right now because they disabled the marketplace. They've been messing with the, everything right now. Again, it is very new. They had the website go down a couple of times. Uh, they missed a couple of pack drops as well. But this is, I feel like, uh, the next best thing right now. It's kind of hype beast type shit. But uh, overall, uh, really cool experience. I wish I had my own pack. I'm still waiting for mine. I have my moments involved too because for certain packs, you actually have to have a certain amount of uh moments already collected so that you can purchase the better packs uh so man going forward here that's just a little taste of how it goes uh definitely let me know what you guys got if you guys are able to get a pack uh take a look at mine see how uh, how good these are as a whole let me actually check out the illusion store just so we can get an understanding of how much maybe even that one goes for I was really happy with it. I was I was like, oh, illusion store, sweet, and he does a layup. So the layup right now is going for thirty six dollars. He got two of them, so that's seventy two dollars in theory, uh, and that's already off of a fourteen dollar pack. Let's go ahead and I remember we got a, a Nurkic. I bet you the Nurkic one is going to be more than the Okogi one. So the Nurkic is thirty two. Let's try Okogi. They're actually pretty expensive right now. If they already are allowing that. Okay, so the Josh Kogi one, I think, I think it was a dunk. I don't know for sure. I do not know for sure. Okay, no, I think it's this one. This is so that one's twelve dollars. What was the other one? Josh Kogi. It was on Glenn Robbins. Okay, then no, that was the joke. Yeah, so Yusuf Nurkic and then two of the same ones. So, uh, yeah, we covered everything here. The RJ Barrett, we'll see how much it goes for, but it is a dunk. It's a breakaway. Nothing really crazy. Like, he didn't dunk on anybody. Uh, I guess he got the steal off of it, and RJ Barrett, especially this year, is known for his defense. So, uh, with everything in mind, it was a cool experience. Uh, very excited to see how much this RJ Barrett goes for because the other ones that are on the marketplace right now, even though they have less amount there, uh, it definitely should go for a pretty cool penny, more than the $14 that you put into it. So, 32, 30, no, 36, 36, 72, plus 12, plus another 30. So we're talking another 50, let's say like $110, maybe a little bit more there, 120. And then hopefully the other one uh, at least goes for 100, I would say. That's about $220 off of a $14 pack. In my opinion, keep that RJ Barrett one. We'll see what happens. Maybe try to get them off right now and sell them high. Uh, but overall, uh, definitely cool experience. Hopefully. Uh, this is going to be something that is continuing to to develop and becomes one of the main things that is part of the NBA here, especially with the cryptocurrency like type of, of fanatic or fans or uh, the hype beast, which comes with it. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you, and you guys enjoyed this video. Just some extra content for the podcast. Uh, we do have a sports you podcast, so definitely check us out. I have a lot to say about uh, each and every type of topic around the NBA, around the uh, NFL as well trying to get some baseball in there but uh, definitely hopefully you guys can like subscribe and uh, hopefully just continue to support the U. appreciate you guys time you have a good one